Yo, yo, man, how are you today? This this is Fred from Africa, and of, of course, yes, uh, the weather today is very, very, very chilly outside. Okay? And I just felt like I should just talk to you today, guys. I've been going through the comments. There are some comments that I'm coming across. Some of you, some of you are telling me not to call them to come back to Africa. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't understand why. Okay? Now I came across this video here, and I tried to listen to this month. Eighty percent of the African Americans or the Black Americans are not in the position to come back to the continent. 80% of African Americans, stop pretending, cannot afford to come to Africa. Wow. Really? I'm saying they cannot afford. They may want it in their heart, mm -hmm. but America has them shoes, has them bootstrapped, tied. Because guess what? They have to pay mortgage every month. They have to pay their car note every month. They have to pay their insurance every month. They can't even watch DSTV unless they wow. pay every month. Wow. So how are you going to have money to say, let me go back and learn about my family, my history, my roots one. Every month, mm. you have to worry about, I got to pay this. Mm. I got to pay. When do you get a break to think? Wow. But that's the system. Mm. This allows me to control you left, right, left, right. Because you never have time to stop and say, oh, how do I work on this or where do I go from here? You don't have that time. And when, I, when you live in America, most people, if, they, if, they, if they're being honest, on the first of the month, from the first to about the 20th, 25th of the month is when they cannot afford to come back to Africa. You can't think of coming back to Africa when you have a family to feed, you have school fees to pay, therefore coming back to Africa won't be easy. People are overworking in, US, in, in USA. Well, black Americans are, are overworking and some of them are being underpaid. So because you get, you're getting less money, you're not in a position to come back to the continent. What does, it, what does it take you to come back to Africa? What requirements do you need to meet for you to come back to Africa? This is just a mindset that we have. That, oh, I cannot come back to Africa because my bills are so many. I cannot back, come back to Africa because, oh, I'm paying school fee. I cannot, oh, wow. I don't think that's, that, that should be the reason. So this thing is just in our minds. It's just in the mindset. Okay, which should just decide the way some of African Americans decided and made the decision that I'm going back home and that is final. Whether it rains stones, mountains, or it rains, I will go back to the continent and they're doing well. Some went to Ghana, like some lady, I, I did some videos some, some days back, and also there's a Kenyan, Musa, also went uh, back to the continent with his family and he's really doing well. So some of you are still finding it not easy to come back to the continent because of the reasons that are just obvious. Those are obvious reasons. There are some people who have made that decision of coming back to Africa and they did it and they achieved it. Why can't you make that decision of coming back to the continent? We need all our brothers, brothers and sisters to the continent because when we are a team, we work as a team. Okay? When you're a team, you work as a team because our only goal is to unite as the African, all the Africans, be it the African America, be it the Black America, be it all the Africans should just unite and come back together. Okay? Because you understand what is happening in the world today. Okay? China is rising. Where is Africa? China has decided that we want to grow. They kept everything aside and now China is competing with the USA. Okay, so why can't Africans just wake up and say enough is enough? We, are, we have knowledge, we have skills. Some of us have money. We, we want our brothers and sisters back in the continent, okay? You want our brothers and sisters back in the continent. Even if you say that 80% are not in the position to come back to Africa. 
because of A, B, C, D. Those, those are obvious things that even us here in Africa, we are facing them. Are, the economy is hiked. Prices of commodities is high. Everything has been hiked. Okay? So, it is our continent. And we cannot say that because the, the, because the government has hiked uh, the commodity of uh, the price of, 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 of the commodity or the economy is high we should now leave Africa and go to the, to the, to the other continent we must stay here because this is our continent so that's why we are calling you to come back to your continent I know you've learned you've been told a lot about Africa or oh, Africans have a lot of, a lot of issues that, that they have never sorted out or oh, Africans are just Africans yes Africans have a lot of issues, but those are our issues. USA has got their own issues. China has got their own issues. All the countries in the world have got their own issues. But we must understand how to handle our issues. Okay? Change your mindset and say, oh, I'm going back to my motherland. I'm going back to Africa because Africa is me and I am African. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Subscribe, comment, and share. And if you've never subscribed, guys, you don't know what you're missing.